Hi, did you ever wonder why relays have those numbers on the terminals? Not just make and break relays, you find them on indicator relays and headlamp relays as well as other auto-electrical stuff like ignition coils. They're the terminal codes specified in DIN standard 72552. DIN is a German standards body, and it stands for Deutsches Institut für Normung, which means German Standards Institute, or possibly normal for Germany, in other words, overcomplicated. So the why of it is that each number is a code for a function, what it isn't is a cipher for the function. Codes use an arbitrary system to transpose whatever it is that's being encoded, you might be expecting a cipher where an algorithm is applied to encode whatever it is that's being encoded. But it's not it's fairly arbitrary. So, on the standard four terminal relay you have the codes 30, 85, 86, and 87. Those stand for the battery positive feed to 30, the output to the load on 87, with terminals marked 85 and 86 for the control terminals, with 85 being the ground. Indicator relays are a more complicated thing in that there's less standardization in the way they work. Typically they'll have a 49 terminal and a 49A terminal, but they might also have a 31 terminal and even a C terminal. The 49 terminal is the power in, the 49A terminal is power out, 31 is always the negative to ground, and the C terminal is for indicator warning light. If you were paying attention you might be thinking hold on. If 31 means ground why is the ground on a 4 pin relay numbered 85? It's because it doesn't always go to ground, sometimes it goes to a switch that operates the relay by grounding the operating coil when the switch is closed, horn buttons would be a good example. As a side note, the standard relay comes in three varieties, natural, or with a resistor across the operating coil, and some have a diode across the operating coil. The natural one and the resistor one don't really care which way round you wire 85 and 86. The diode variety will care. Most of the time you can use whichever variety you like, but if you're using micro switches to operate the control coil, then either the resistor or the diode variety might be an idea. If you're switching anything vaguely computer-like with the relay, the diode variety would be cheap insurance. That's quite a lot to take in in one go, so we can take a short break while I take this opportunity to ask you if you do the like, subscribe and notify me thing. I can hang around while you do it. Not a problem, it's not like I've got a body or anything. Okay. Another relay that it's not uncommon to find on a customized motorcycle is the Volkswagen headlight relay, although the same setup is used by Volvo and Renault, I've only used the Volkswagen one. The one I use has five terminals labeled 30, 56, 56A, 56B, and S. Wired up correctly with a battery feed to the 30 terminal, an instantaneous on switch, which is a fancy name for a bell push, connected to the S terminal and then ground, a 12 volt positive feed from the on off switch for the lights to 56, 56A to the main beam and 56B to the dip, when the instantaneous switch is pressed with the light switch in the off position the main beam, or brights if you prefer, will flash. With the light switch in the on position, Pressing the instantaneous switch will change from dip beam to main beam. I use this type of relay when I want minimal switches on the handlebars, as all it needs is a push to make micro switch to give me a headlamp flash and a dip switch. Looking back over that, we can see that 30 and 31 are codes for terminals that connect to the positive and negative battery terminals respectively. But also that anything with an 80 something code is to do with relay switching, a 49 code is something to do with indicators, and 56, with or without a letter is headlamps. So while there isn't any obvious rhyme or reason to the specific code designations, they are more or less grouped into what you might call series of codes. 80 series codes for relays for example. So the answer to why the terminals have those numbers is that it's a fairly, but not entirely, arbitrary German standard system. While that might seem like a lot to remember, bear in mind that even Mr. Smarty Pants Blackjack himself only remembers that it's DIN 72552 and Googles it when he's wiring things. In fact if you just Google DIN terminal codes, you'll find what you're looking for, I'd recommend the Wikipedia page, there's a link below. Somewhere near the subscribe button. I think that's it for this one, I've been Neil, your AI narrator, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Mr. Smarty Pants, huh? You keep running your lip like that one, Neil. You won't be in the next one. Oh, whoops.